Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. Today we're gonna have a look at the cameras of the Essential Phone. First, I'm gonna start with the front-facing camera, <laughs> obviously. Um, we're filming in 4K at the moment, which is a nice surprise actually. Not many phones can actually do that. But the thing is that there is totally no options for this front-facing camera whatsoever, as well as the back camera. So basically I've got no idea um, of whether there's any sort of stabilization or not. As far as I know, there is none. But anyway, let's just do a quick sprint and see how the phone works forums guys um, I guess he's gonna be okay but let me first upload the faster computer and after that you're gonna hear my conclusion now let's have a look at a couple of selfies and after that we're gonna move to the back cameras I just had a look at the settings guys and it turns out that the Google camera application actually supports video stabilization for the front camera as well so that's just a quick test to see how this stabilization is gonna work just a quick sprint over here guys yeah let's see let's see how it is okay guys so let's have a look at the back cameras now it's getting a little bit windy but what can i do that's the best we can get in late december here in the uk oh check check this one out check this one out that's beautiful guys absolutely beautiful scenery over here if you know what's the name of that place let me know in the comments that we are gonna get some bonus points for that so yeah let's quickly do a quick sprint and see if there's any sort of stabilization as far as i know there is no optical stabilization uh, and the thing is that you've got totally no options to set any sort of you know electronic image stabilization so i'm really don't know what's gonna happen once I upload the files to the computer, of course, we're gonna have a look at what we've got and you're gonna hear my conclusion after that. But first of all, uh, let's check a couple of things about that camera. Let's see how the autofocus works, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see what do we have. Autofocus? Come on! Now, let's, let's give it another try. Yeah, the autofocus kind of doesn't work very properly to be honest with you let me see I maybe it works but nah it's not very good guys it's not very good now you've got an option to take monochrome videos from the secondary camera which I find rather awkward to be honest with you but at least I'm glad that there is such an option actually and uh, it works okay you just you just press the button and you take uh, monochrome views yeah let's do a quick run and see if we have any stabilization by any chance I seriously doubt that but anyway that's that's kind of awkward to be honest with you that's weird i gotta definitely test the low light capabilities of the more chrome cameras guys okay guys so this is the google camera application i saw that there is an option for video stabilization electronic of course so i flick this switch on and let's see what kind of results are we gonna get let's do a quick sprint over here to see how this stabilization is gonna work and if it's gonna work at all um, again that's 4k guys and uh, let's see what sort of results are we gonna get let's see if the autofocus works it kind of works but yeah not very good but anyway
Okay guys, so where does it leave us with the camera situation of the Essential Phone PH1? Now I have one thing in mind, Essential never really said that their cameras are great on their phone, unlike the OnePlus 5T who failed to deliver bigly. <laughs> yeah, so basically the front camera is really good. I was actually surprised how good it is, especially in daylight. When the lights go down, well, the quality goes down the drain as well, but that's pretty much normal with all front-facing cameras. Now, the video is really good, it's 4K, but the problem is that there is no stabilization whatsoever. Now, moving on to the back cameras, the monochrome sensor is, uh, well, kind of gimmicky for me to be honest with you but at least he's there you know that's that's an additional extra take it take it that way now the main camera is not very good if you saw the whole video up until now guys in some situations you can get a really nice photos out of it but you need plenty of light and in most situations the images doesn't really look that good and if you switch hdr on and especially night time the results are absolutely ridiculously bad guys now one thing in mind essential just updated their camera greatly improving the hdr capabilities which i haven't really tested because i'm not using this phone as my daily driver i've got the mate 10 which is somewhere over there <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to to check this review out but anyway um, I can really recommend you to use the Google camera application and the good thing is that nothing can stop you using this application. You don't need root, you just download the APK, install it and it just works out of the box. You can have both cameras, you know, working side by side and you can switch between them. That's how I shot basically the whole, um, the whole video comparison, the whole photo comparison. But anyway, download the Google camera application and the camera from like uh, bad mid-range results goes all the way up with the big boys and you're getting a premium camera in this phone guys unfortunately when it comes down to videos well 4k is good plenty of details but the problem is again no stabilization whatsoever and in this occasion the google camera application is not going to help you out with the st stabilization it just doesn't work another thing about the portrait mode the portrait mode is actually quite good because all the details which are lost basically get blurred so you're getting pretty good results i'm not very much into portrait mode but no matter how many times i i used it i'm really happy with the results and one more thing i think there's a modified again google camera application from the pixel which offers the same portrait mode as the pixel but on the front camera so basically if that's your thing you can play around with that setting as well so overall <laughs> The, the, the default camera application sucks big time but if you install the google camera application you're getting flagship results apart from the stabilization of the video so yeah thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to vlogging project always honest reviews and see you in the next one while we met then see you later <laughs>